Good hug. Today, we are striper fishing in Montauk. And I just got on a little schoolie and we just got here and it seems like every cast is a nice little schoolie. So it's gonna be a fun day. Let's go. Nice fish. Smooth and release them. Oh, I need to flip this. Mwah. Look at the pattern, so awesome. Ah, so nice to see bass here. Or a hit all day. Everyone else has. This sucks. Another day in the office. Here we go. It's super early. We are walking to our new spot. Here. It's gonna be super 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 windy because that's just how it is around here nowadays and uh, Yeah, we're at high tide. We're gonna try to be uh, catching some stripers on some heavy bucktails fishing an inlet Hopefully it works. Hopefully the wind's not too bad and we don't become miserable Let's go We're on the jetty. We're not going all the way down as of right now. It's pretty rough the winds going Waves are all the way at the point, so it wouldn't be safe to bring the camera or us without corkers or anything any further than where we are. We're on flat rock, so we're pretty good without the corkers here, but we're gonna drop some bigger bucktails, float them around, see if we can get something. Let's do it.
blue on a big old bucktail. Mwah. I have a three ounce bucktail on right now and I'm basically just dropping it down to the bottom and doing slight little twitches like that so it's going like that in the water column and uh, we've had three hits and then that fish so we're gonna keep doing that. I tie these myself or I'd be losing a ton, a ton of money. Since I'm doing this all day long, I'll, I guess I'll show you what I'm doing. I have this sleeve of leaders that I pre-make at home instead of wasting a lot of time here and you know, tying leaders, cutting and everything, getting pieces out. So I have 60 pound mono leader with a 77 pound barrel swivel and I think 122 pound TA clips. Just so that they're big enough so that they can hook onto like uh, top waters and bucktails. This is now my fourth leader of the day. And I'm going on to my fourth bucktail. Which means I gotta go home and pour some more. Tie some more. Never stops. If you guys wanna buy some bucktails, smoochandrelease.com slash shop. While I'm pouring, I might as well make you guys some, right? Let's go place an order. <laughs> It'll help us a lot. Thank you. Let's go change spots so we don't keep losing all these bucktails. to one more big bucktail. Fishing lately has, has what? Has 
dwindled. Very dwindled. That's not <laughs> <laughs> It's very slow lately. We've only been getting on one fish, two fish, three fish, blue fish, or something <laughs> like that. Red fish, blue fish? Yeah. So we haven't really done too much. You know, we caught a couple yesterday, caught a couple today within hours and hours and hours of fishing. Yeah. So we've gotten some comments, we've met some people, you know, they said that maybe they thought it was them because they weren't catching fish. But it's listen, not. it's it's not you. Everyone's saying it's slow. We're having a slow time catching fish, but. Unless you're porgy fishing. Right now, porgy fishing is good everywhere because we, we watched people at Montauk catching porgy after porgy after porgy. And uh, yeah, they, everywhere, literally everywhere. Every inlet, bridge, and everything, people are catching porgies. So if you're porgy fishing, you're doing great. If you're going for blues and, uh, and stripers, you're not doing too well unless you're going overnight, so. Yeah. From our experiences, uh, it's everything's like fast forward a month. So like the fish came in a month early and everything like that. So we're sitting in that paused period of where fishing is just kind of tough. You know, it got hot really, really quick and uh, all the big fish, the big stripers are basically out deep. You're gonna see a lot of boat guys pulling up big fish constantly. So uh, that's where they are. It's not just you, but you know, we're having a slow time. In other news, we are going on our honeymoon and we are having like a two and a half week non-stop fishing honeymoon in Florida. So, yes. So I'm we're excited. going somewhere hotter to go catch some more fish. So I don't know if you guys are excited, but we're pretty excited to be going fishing for dozens of different species of fish down in Florida that we've never caught before. So our content if you guys are uh, gonna stick around for a while. <laughs> you know, we got some really cool Florida content coming for you, hopefully some fresh water, but we have a lot of really cool stuff planned for some salt water already. So, like, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about going for some saltwater fish in Florida. And it's not just yeah. gonna be Florida, you know, we're gonna be driving down, so we're taking it, taking the entire coast and stopping down in South Carolina, maybe somewhere yeah. in between there, North Carolina, whatever we see, fresh water, salt water, so we have some cool exploration type adventure videos where we're just yeah. gonna be catching some fish. I think we're gonna make a list of species that we're gonna target and we're gonna see if we can complete the list throughout the two and a half weeks. Another thing, we're going down to Orlando, that is for something called ICAST. So ICAST is basically like two million square feet of the entire industry showing what they have for this new coming year, 2021, 2022, what they've been working on in 2020. They didn't have it last year, but I've gone to it a few times for, uh, for freshwater, but they've got boats, kayaks, rods, reels, new lures, old lures. They got all the professionals going down there, guides, all the TV show guys are going down there. So it's gonna be cool. we have some content for that too. We got the media passes so we can film in there and maybe inter interview some guys. So I don't know if you guys wanna comment below what you guys wanna see as far as lures, boats, kayaks, whatever it is. We're going to iCast. We're gonna have iCast videos as well. Yeah, so uh, that's that. You know, we got a really fun two and a half, three weeks planned in front of us right now, and uh, we're gonna have some really cool content. So, if you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, comment what you guys want to see in Florida for iCast or fishing related in general, or South Carolina, wherever we're fishing. But mm -hmm. um, also, if you want, share our channel with your friends on Facebook or Instagram or whatnot. We're trying to get to 20,000 by the end of this month. You know, we're pretty close. Yeah. We're almost at 15,000. I think we can do it really, really soon. So uh, help us out, share it on all your social medias. But that about wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and, and have, have some, some fun, fun on, on the water. water. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time. <laughs>what's up guys welcome to another episode of get real bass fishing this is your boy surfcaster dude and this is surfcaster girl that's wrong